Hello, Palm Springs Point of Viewers. We are back. It's great to see you. Yeehaw. Conrad, it's great to be back with <laughs> yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, a lot is happening here. Well, fall is in the air. It's happening. Though. And rain is in the air or something's it's in the air. It's very bizarre here in the desert, but you know what? <laughs> Come on, we're having a good time. We're going we to are, and I think the leaves are going to start changing soon. <laughs> Do they change here in the desert? Um, I, I don't know. Just, I think Ficuses. the hedge goes from green, green to, to greener. greener. Yeah, that's it. We got it. <laughs> it's all good here in the desert. <laughs> well, we started our weekend off with music and martinis over at the V Wine Lounge. That's right. With the music of... Leanna and Miguel. Leanna and Miguel are the best they are having a great time and they are everywhere right now just so you, in case you don't know and you're going to come to the desert you want to be entertained on mondays they're over at the v wine lounge with their dance event on mondays a total blast Love you that. have to get reservations because they sell yes, out very quickly then on tuesdays they, this coming tuesday they start over at the palm springs cultural center for their jazz court, uh, collective which is always a blast that's so nice because it's like an intimate setting most live music you know, which is great mm -hmm, and then on thursdays they're back over at v wine lounge for their music and martinis which you and i had a great time <gasps> dance and dance and dancing to that's right <laughs> and you know our producer was on piano too that's right <laughs> so we're very lucky that alan our producer director here has a song called uh, Tango, Tango Mar, Mar that Leanna has done quite some times and <gasps> this time he was there so they did it live oh Amazing. my gosh it was so good with Wayne Boyer yeah. on the flugelhorn if you get wow. a chance you want to drop in especially on Thursdays it is a blast so it's Thursday night at the V Wine Lounge Leanna and Miguel that's right very fancy so Conrad <laughs> last week we teased our viewers about a book you read that has something to do with anti-mame? That's right, anti-mame. I read this book called At Sea with Patrick Dennis, My Madcap Mexican Adventure with the author of Anti-Mame. That's right. I had an opportunity to sit down and talk to the gentleman who they say are rescued this manuscript and brought it to this publication. Let's take a look. Is the English lady sick, Auntie Mame? Oh, she's not English, darling. She's from Pittsburgh. She sounded English. Well, when you're from Pittsburgh, you have to do something. Cubism, squiffed, neurotic, heterosexual. Oh, my, 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 what an eager little mind. You won't need some of these words for months and months. It's safe to say that there are just some things that go together, like peanut butter and jam, peanut butter and chocolate. Well, today we're going to bring together two unique ideas. That is a book and a beverage. Now, so let's talk with our beverage first. We're coming to you today from Coffee and Rancho Mirage, who gave us this beautiful little space to sit and talk with this gentleman, Bernie Ardia. How are you doing today? I'm good. Good, good. So, Thank you. Bernie is our association with the book because this summer I read this book that I definitely want our desert residents to know about. It is called At Sea with Patrick Dennis, My Madcap Max Mexican Adventure with the author of Anti Mame. Very short title. Very short. <laughs> <laughs> very short and very complicated. And I want to stay right off the bat. Very interesting about this book is that not only are there a variety of characters that our viewers will know, but some of these characters change their names as they go along. Yes. And the people behind this book, there are a lot of names associated with So somehow we're going to try to put this all together. Okay. All right? Yes. So let's start off, first of all, with you. So you are a resident of the desert. I am. And uh, Rancho Mirage. Rancho Mirage, yes. all right. And one of the unique things about this book is there's a lot of association with the desert. There are. Right? There's three big ones. Three big ones, this exactly. This would be the original author, the late Robert Carr. Uh, who passed in 2017, and the publisher, Rattling Good Yarns Correct. Press, is in the valley, and myself. So really within a few blocks on Frank Sinatra Drive, this whole thing came my way. The story is a madcap adventure. It is. Right? It's, a, it's like a screwball comedy, a farce. <laughs> And yes. you, don't, you don't see those anymore. No. So let's try to get the story correct on how everybody yes. met each other. Yes. So Robert Carr and his partner Walter were on a cruise and they came upon befriended uh, Patrick Dennis, who yes. of course is the author of anti Me. Yes, and he was escaping. Patrick was escaping the mainland. He, his intent was to jump ship in Mexico and start anew, start anew. A life or whatever he was going to do is starting over Something again, happened. and uh, 
they didn't know who he was for mm -hmm. quite a while. And because he was traveling under another name. Yes, under a, somebody else's ticket, in fact, oh, that's because right. he couldn't afford the ticket to be on the ship. And he befriended Mrs. Winton, who is a wealthy woman, and she had her grandchild, and the three of them were dining together, and then they met, they got off ship in San Francisco and had a, their first adventures. Then you get off into Mexico, and away goes the story, right? Yes, once, once Patrick decides to jump ship and he shares his story, Walter, who learned that he lost his job in Seattle during this cruise, he thought, well, he's going to go too because he loved to drink and so did Patrick. And so they were going to cocktail through Mexico and Rob, worrying about them, he started, they all, the three of them, bit like the three musketeers, and Patrick yeah. Dennis was the Pied Piper. Let's talk about how this book came to you. It's my understanding it was given in a box with some stuff that you were going to give to yes. Robert's partner, uh, is that Yes, correct? and in the box was a thick manuscript. It was just titled Patrick and I. And this was Robert's manuscript. Robert's manuscript, which was a finished copy as far as he knew it. And he had never tried to publish it or anything. Mm. I thought nothing was going to happen mm. to it. Rob did a lot of writings. This was just another one of them. And I just thought there was too much in here that needed to be shared with the world. And did Jerry, his partner, know the book was, the manuscript was in there also? Did he know no, that he had No, he written? still didn't know that I had this box mm. of stuff because I was to read things and then take it to Jerry. I wrote to Jerry, we worked it all out, and it was mine to do with what I could. Mm. And that's when the real work happened because I, okay, now what? And so I worked on it a year and then I was given an article from a neighbor about Rattling Good Yarns Press. Which is here with, in this desert. Yes, and that article was, I swear, taped on my wall with that paint tape. <laughs> so when I could get to that stage of things, I would know to contact him. Right, right. And I did. And uh, we actually met here at coffee. Oh, is that right? Yes, we it did. It all goes around. It all does. It all goes Another part of the valley mm -hmm. connecting exactly. it. And so we met here, and his first thing was, we want, would like to publish this book. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, Robert Carr. So he not only, well, he had a short story that was won an award here in Palm Springs for uh, something he submitted to the Palm Springs Life back in, I think, 2016. Yeah, some time ago. Yeah, right, right. And I just read that story, very interesting, very, you can see his writing, how it, yes, very detail-oriented. Yes. And I think one of the nice things about the book, and I get to comment all the time, is Patrick Dennis could have written this. It's very much like a next chapter of an anti mame story. It's just adventure after adventure. Yes. And it's, but it's real life. It's a slice of history, in a way, and a, and a slice of Patrick Dennis's life that isn't known, yeah. because he was going to disappear, and this was his act of disappearing. And his act of disappearing worked, even to the extent that he also became a butler for yes. the CEO of McDonald's yes. later. I mean, I, yes, yes, This guy, he was all over, I right? Mean, yes, but see, he was a chameleon. <laughs> did you know Patrick at all? Did, did you have any relationship with him? No. no. And with Robert, who passed away, did you have any relationship with him? Telephone and emails. And yet, here they all are, They're all because there. of your contributions, your findings. We appreciate you spending some time with us. Again, the book, of course, is called At Sea with Patrick Dennis, my madcap Mexican adventure with the author of Auntie Mame. You can get it at the Palm Springs Library, yes. uh, she said the Rancho Mirage Library, Amazon, through, uh, Amazon all, those, all those locations. Yes. And I definitely want to thank our folks here at Coffee and Rancho Mirage for giving us this great little spot to sit down and get to know you and hear, hear about the book. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Whoa, Conrad, that was a crazy and complicated story. <laughs> you should have been there for the interview. There were so many stories inside the stories. And isn't it interesting that the author of Auntie Mame became the butler for the founder of McDonald's? No, this, this just blows me away. <laughs> read this book. You're going to learn all about gotta it. I got to read this book. You got to read this book. I guess think while you're in line at McDonald's. At McDonald's, exactly. <laughs> it's a good one. Claudia, since we're talking about books, there is a big birthday coming up 
for this gentleman. Happy Prince Harry. birthday, That's Harry! Right. Turning 39 this Aww, coming Friday. To be 39. Oh, uh, that was worth a day. But boy, has he lived a life. He has. I mean, <sighs> you enjoyed the book, yes? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I read it when it first came out. I had to get it right away. And what I loved was. I felt like he really took me into the book. I mean, I wanted to go to Africa yeah. so bad, and that seemed like a good, his, his spot. happy yes, place. Yes, exactly, Relax exactly. Relax and roughing it. Yeah. I, I loved that part of yeah. the book. And I really enjoyed that. When I read the book, I felt like I could hear him talking. And I think as a public who we don't really know the royal family, this book really lets us inside from his view oh, yeah. of what no he thinks. Oh, yeah, no holes barred. Yeah, yeah. If you get a chance, Prince Harry, spare. And if you also get a chance, remember to like and subscribe, do get a chance for that, to Palm Springs Point of View on YouTube. We are your Eats Arts Culture social media provider here in the desert. Follow us. Bye-bye.